This video showcases a real-time airplane tracking application in MATLAB with ADS-B signals and RTL-SDR radios. RTL-SDR is a low-cost, software-defined radio developed by NULEC. This radio is essentially a wireless receiver that you can use to stream live RF signals into MATLAB and Simulink. It supports frequencies in the range of 30 MHz to 1.8 GHz. And this radio has been supported by Communication System Toolbox ever since release 2014A. We're going to use a relatively simple standard, in this case ADS-B, to demonstrate this software-defined radio capability. So this is a standard that airplanes use to transmit position, altitude, velocity, and other information to air traffic control centers. And these signals are transmitted at 1090 megahertz, which is within the range of the RTL-SDR. And the data is transmitted in short 112-bit messages at a rate of 1 megabit per second. And you can see here, these are the two lines of code that we'll be using to set up the radio, tune it to the correct frequency, and then capture the, um, the data, the IQ samples, into our MATLAB workspace and start decoding them. Okay, so I have our ADSB demo, which is part of the RTL uh, SDR support package running right now. The data populating this table is, is being received off the air by my RTL SDR, and it's being decoded in functions using MATLAB. And I'm receiving this data at the MathWorks headquarters in Natick, which is about 20 miles west of Logan Airport in Boston. Some of the data that we're seeing in this table is for aircraft that are either taking off and, or landing at the airport. And some of the other data is probably um, flights going across the United States or even flights coming from Europe and going down the eastern seaboard towards airports like uh, JFK in Newark International. And as I said, this is a demonstration that we can do real-time live wireless signal data processing in MATLAB. As we look at the data populating these tables, we're decoding those ADSB messages. And the data in those messages are for things like uh, the actual flight ID, a text message that includes the flight ID. And then we're also uh, reporting things like the, the latitude and longitude, uh, the position, the speed, and the, and the heading. This top line right here is most likely uh, an airplane um, that's heading towards Logan Airport and probably uh, um, doing its final descent. Okay, let's take a quick look at some of the MATLAB code that implements this ADSB receiver example. So we can we can find this example here, ADSB example. And there's a, a line in the code here that does the user input. And this is the command that we use to set up our RTL SDR receiver for the correct center frequency, the correct sample rate. Um, and tuning gain and things like that. Hardware properties that set up the RTL receiver. And this is good for capturing maybe like one-tenth of a second of data, say, something like that. And then as we come down here, we're actually going to see our main loop, which is capturing the data. This step method captures one-tenth of a second of data over and over again, writes the data as a variable into the MATLAB workspace, and then we can use some of our physical layer commands to process the data within those received samples and start to extract some of the data that were, was in those ADSB messages. Okay, so the step method is the one that pulls the data into the MATLAB workspace. And then the rest of the code, there are some filter commands for estimating the noise floor, uh, correlation commands for finding the ADSB preamble and making bit decisions, and ultimately a checksum operation uh, provided by the communication system toolbox that lets us validate that the message is a correctly received ADSB message. If you'd like to see more examples of capturing and decoding signals with the RTL-SDR, you can download this free book. This book is a great resource for anyone who wants to start doing software-defined radio examples using MATLAB.